Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about um, Unit 4 of Chemistry Honors. So first, we're going to have the summary and vocab so you can skip. So summary. Unit 4 of Chemistry covers a small range of structures and compounds, but it is ultimately categorized under the term chemical bonding. In this video, we will cover ionic and covalent bonds, Lewis dot structures, and molecular geometry. Ionic and covalent bonds show the transferring and sharing of electrons across atoms, creating compounds. These compounds can then be drawn out in 2D and 3D forms. These forms include Lewis dot structures and molecular geometry. Lewis dot structures show electron pairs, both bonded and unbonded. Lastly, using these structures, we can draw the molecular geometry of an electrical or elemental compound based on its domains. Some additional vocab anions are a negatively charged ion. Cations are positively charged ions. Bonding pair, covalent bonding electron pair. Ion, an atom or molecule with a net, char or net electric charge due to the loss or gain of one or more electrons. Ionic charge, the electrical charge of an ion created by the gain or loss of one or more electrons. Octet rule re reflects the theory that main group elements tend to bond in such a way that each atom has eight electrons in its valence shell, giving it the same electron configuration as a noble gas. And polyatomic ions are groups of atoms that are, have a collective charge. Ionic versus covalent bonds. Ionic bond. Ionic bonds are bonds formed from the transferring of electrons from atoms of metals to atoms of nonmetals. Examples are lithium fluoride. Ionic compounds. The basics are made from a metal and a nonmetal, consist of positive and negative ions, and is the transferring of electrons. Covalent compound or covalent bonds. Bonds formed from the sharing of electrons between two nonmetal atoms. An example is H2O or water. Covalent compound. Basics are they are made from two nonmetals and does not contain any ions or charges, and it is the sharing of electrons. Lewis dot structures. Lewis dot structures are diagrams that show the bonding between atoms of a molecule and the lone pairs of electrons that may exist in the mo molecule. The steps include. Add up the total number of valence electrons found in the entire compound. Draw the simple structure, skeleton structure, of the compound by connecting everything with single bonds only. Keep in mind that each bond counts for two shared electrons. Add electrons to all the non-central atoms. Put any unused electrons on the central atom. If all atoms now have eight electrons, you're done. Extra ones can go to the middle atom. If you have one or more atoms that do not have eight electrons, you must form double or triple bonds between them. The examples we will be doing is H2O2 on the left side and CCl4 on the right side. Before we do our examples, a lone pair is defined as a pair of valence electrons that are not shared with another atom in a covalent bond. Doing our example, we can look at h 2 O2. As you can see, there's no really central atom because there, there's two of H's and there's two O's. So, put the O's in the middle, bonding. The lines between them represent two electrons per line. So seeing that we have to, so going in order. Add up the total number of valence electrons found in the entire compound. When looking at this H2O2, we can look at and see that hydrogen has one electron, but there's two hydrogen, so it's times two. Oxygen is in group 6A, so it has six valence electrons. But there's two of them, so it's times two. So one times two for the hydrogen equals two, plus six times two for the oxygen, which equals 14. So we have a total, or a total, uh, sorry, 12. 
which equals to have a total of 14 valence electrons. So now that we have found our valence electrons, we follow the next step, which is creating the structure. Using compounds and single bonds only. The single bonds are the little lines in between, which I said before represents two electrons. Since there are three lines, as you can see on the bottom left there, there are three lines between the H's and O's. That's three times two, that's six. So we subtract that from our total of valence electrons. So six, 14 minus six equals eight. That means we have eight electrons left. The hydrogens only want, they don't need more than two electrons. So we will bond the remaining eight electrons to the oxygen. So we put two on the top, two on the bottom of each of them. That's two, four, six, eight meaning we use the last eight of the electrons. So that's our final figure, because the hydrogens are now content with the two electrons, and if we count the oxygen, if we count each of the little bonds in between the lines, or, and the electrons, you can count as two, four, six, eight, meaning that all of these um, elements are content with their atoms. Now if we want to do C, Cl4. Carbon has four valence electrons, and there's only one, so it's four times one. Chlorine has seven valence electrons, and there's four of them, so it's seven times four. So the four times one for the carbon gives us four, plus seven times four for the chlorine, which equals 28. Together, that equals a total of 32 valence electrons. Since carbon is alone, it is our central atom. And we put one, two, three, four bonds around it. And we attach chlorine to each of them. So that since that's two electrons per bond, that's 2, 4, 6, 8. So that's 32 minus 8 of the electron bond that we already used, so we have 24 left. Since carbon is already, it's satisfied, since it has the 8 around it. Now, rest of the chlorine needs 6 electrons to be happy. So we put 2 on each side, as you can see in the picture on the screen. And if you count around one chlorine, that's two, four, six, and then eight because of the covalent bond in between. And that makes it content. And you can count up, and it gets you 32 valence electrons for the total. And that's how you do Lewis Dot structures. Molecular geometry is the three dimensional arrangement of the atoms that constitute a molecule. The shapes include linear two bonded domains, trigonal planar, three bonded domains, tetrahedral, four bonded domains, bent, two bonded and two unbonded, and pyramidal, three bonded and one unbonded, unbonded. Going from our Lewis dot structures, we can use Cl or C, Cl4 and H2O2. When we draw them, H2O2, remembering It's a special one. Although it looks like that, it is only a linear because it has the bond. C Cl4, on the other hand, has all of those. We can circle the bonds, and that's our number of domains, and since all of them are bonded domains, it's a tetrahedral. An unbonded would be something along the lines of this. 
where we have all the lines connecting the chlorine, that gives us those bonds. However, the two electrons on the side means it would be unbonded. So that's everything you need to know about Unit 4 of Chemistry. Bye!